What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you episode 1 of my Manchester United Road to Glory. Now, this is the starter team I got from EA, and obviously in this episode I will play a couple of games, but the main things are just opening the Lone Legend pack I think I've got, uh, because this is a brand new account, I don't have any reward packs unfortunately, but of course there's manager items and things like that, and you know what? That is fantastic, alright? In a Manchester United Road to Glory, we get... A massive Manchester United legend in Ryan Giggs. Admittedly, only for three games, but still, that fits with the series. So we're just going to store everything into the club. And, of course, we're going to do some of the manager tasks, all of that shit. Um, I don't know how much of it I'll actually show because it, it's fairly boring, of course. And uh, I'll do some of the starter squad building challenges, trying to get a few things. Right, so, yep, claim this reward. I'm pretty sure that gives us a loan pack. Oh, no, it gives us a stadium, so we'll just make that active for now. Um, and, yeah, I'll be back when all of these are done. I decided to play a Division 10 game because one of the requirements for the manager tasks was to play a game. It's not a good idea, really, considering how bad my team is, but I did end up winning 3-2, so while the highlights are there, I am going to be playing my brother a few times. I might go through this later on in the video as well, uh, on friendly seasons, so I can you know play 4-5 games with shitty bronze players, get a nice coin total. I'm level 2 on this account, so I've bought the coin boost the 200 times 5 or 10, so I'll get a few more coins in, and then we can start this road to glory off by buying a few Manchester United uh, players, but onto the packs that I did get for the manager items. Alright, so all of the manager tasks are done and the starter squad building challenges, so we've got 10 packs to open. Of course, some of these packs aren't good, some of them are untradeable, but they are going to help us with our squad as well as squad building challenges to get more free packs to get better players. But yeah, f uh, first one's just a, a, well, a bronze. Pack. I can't be asked to sell that uh, Coventry badge because yeah, it'll take too long so uh, I'll just discard that as it's a duplicate anyway. Um, we might get some decent players, like, obviously we're looking for MLS and um, is it the Portuguese league? You know which ones I'm on about uh, because of the um, squad building challenges like for the, the special players that you can get. Um, Right, did we get any there? Nope, we got a Scottish player, but I'm just going to store everything in the club and then hopefully we can get rid of a lot of it for the uh, squad building challenges to get a bit more contracts, which are very useful, of course. Um, right, I'll open the loan player, uh, players now. Actually, I should have done the bronze, shouldn't I? Because you could get some decent things here. Wow. Um, okay, Barrow, I'll take that because Premier League, which is ultimately what we will be building, uh, so yeah. Also, I had to play a game, so um, I probably will show you the highlights after of the first game that I played, but as you can see, my record is 1-0-0. Zero, zero. Um, ooh, this Liverpool centre-back might actually go for a bit. Uh, well, scratch that, no he won't, because he's untradeable, sick. But uh, he probably would have went for a bit. But as I say, I played one game because that's one of the manager tasks. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you the highlights for that. I was going to say, is that Halilovic? And, yeah, it is. It is Halilovic. Uh, I forgot he transferred to uh, Hamburg. Right, we got one more loan pack. And then, of course, the player pack, which I think I'll open last because I think that's better than a 7.5k pack. Arnautovic. Okay, that's going to be very good for us, especially when Giggs' loan runs out. One thing that's annoyed me in the first game, Giggs is injured. Like, a loan player is injured for four games. So, yeah, that's pretty irritating. I can still play the other two games with him. I'm just going to have to wait. And, um, yeah, we could have something a bit better in this pack because, of course, with untradeable players, I don't think it shows the highest rated. Okay, it does this here. So, you know, we didn't get too much there. Uh, we've got a squad fitness, though, which would be very, very useful. And then, on to the last pack. Please give us something good. Nope, it looks as though the rare is going to be silver. Yep, which is a bit disappointing. So, overall those packs were a lot worse than I thought they would be. But, uh, we've done the manager tasks, as you can see, and uh, it's asking me to do a security question. So, I'll do that, I'll play a couple more games, and then see if I can do any more score building challenges. Then, end this episode, and next episode we'll buy some players. 
Before I decided to play my brother in some games, I thought I'd go back into divisions and play one more game, and this proved to be a mistake. Giggs is injured, so I won't be using him until I've got some Manchester United players anyway, but my team was utterly dreadful, as you can see. It's got, you know, players out of position, like Robertson at left mid, uh, you know, just no links, no chemistry, and it was an utter mistake going into divisions, which is another reason why I decided to play my brother, because it's just friendly games and it doesn't really matter what the results are so the the opponent that I did come up against in divisions I'll show you the game Musa and Hernandez up front I'm not going to show you the highlights of my brother's games purely because they're, they're pretty repetitive and they're friendly season so it doesn't really matter towards the season I think I won two drew one though I think we played each other three times in this episode it could have been four I'm not sure but you'll see my record at the end of the game anyway that goal there was probably the weirdest goal I've scored on FIFA 17 so far. It was kind of a looped header, but uh, I just couldn't deal with the pace of Musa and Hernandez up front. He absolutely killed me with pace, and uh, even though the rest of his team is pretty dire, they, they just killed me off. So yeah, no divisions for now until I've got a solid enough team to actually go into it. And uh, again, that's why I've decided to play my brother a few times, get the coins up, get everything settled so I've got a decent high chem team that I feel comfortable with going into uh, into divisions. Alright so I've decided to do this EA Access squad builder. Now I am risking quite a bit because these are most of the gold players I do have in my club. I've had to buy this guy for 450 coins and uh, this guy for 200. This is after I've played some of the games against my brother to get some coins at least without uh, you know risking too much because they're only friendlies. Uh, and obviously it's not divisions so a gold players pack and an EA access home kit I'll apply the kit of course because we don't really have too many good kits so um, yeah that's nice but it's the pack which I'm mainly getting it for now to be fair you get 12 gold players and whether they're tradable or not isn't really that it isn't too big of a deal really because the whole idea is for us to uh, expand the squad without spending a lot so it's a non-rare that appears Jacob that's going to be good 80 rated CDM for West Brom I will definitely take that who else do we have in the pack of course the rare would be silver um, oh you can oh you can actually transfer them as well that's good then I'll have a few more coins to play around with and uh, yeah we've got some English players some well I can see Caleri a West Ham striker so yeah I'll build the team now Right, so what I've done, I've sold a lot of the players I got in that pack and I'm quite surprised, particularly with this Adriano guy, I managed to sell him for 1200 Looking at it, it's probably because of that 5 star weak foot. Maybe could have got a little bit more, but I wanted the coins in and I've bought a few Manchester United players, so we'll go to the squad now and uh, we'll put them into the team. So, uh, I might as well just search actually, because then, yeah, there we go, it should all be here. So. We've got Rojo as the only gold, and then I've bought a lot of the, the ones right at the start that aren't going to be in the team for very long. Um, but yeah, I, I thought I'd get them off the checklist really early, and I've overspent on a lot of them. As you'll be able to see, Rojo cost me about 1,400. Um, Johnston, 350, he was the cheapest. 1,100 for Tones Abai, 1,100 for Riley, 1,000 for Poole. And uh, they are the players I've got so far. So I'll just stick them into the team here. And uh, that'll give a little bit more chemistry. I know I've got two left backs. But what I'm going to do is put Rojo on the other side. Because he'll get that Argentinian link with Jakob. And uh, yeah, that'll be a bit better. We'll put Tonzo Bay in for him. And uh, that boosts the chemistry up quite heavily. I think one of the next players I'll get is maybe Carrick. Because he's really, really cheap. But uh, you'll be able to see a checklist with all the players there. Most of the, well, the lower end players, the silver and bronzes, are gone. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll work my way to getting rid of those and then we'll actually look for a good team. So, this is the end of episode one. Hopefully, I've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and, yeah, peace.